It's the time of the year when production companies are starting to announce their BL lineup for the following year. Last night, GMMTV held an event and unveiled their new shows for 2024 and I'm already excited on some of these dramas to air. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First on our list, My Love Mix Up. After their recent dramas, My School President and Moonlight Chicken. Gemini and Forth are coming back in another BL for 2024 but this time around, it will be a Thai adaptation of My Love Mix Up, a popular Japanese manga. A Japanese adaptation was released back in 2021 and it became so much popular both locally and internationally. My Love Mix Up follows the story of Atom, a high school student who has a crush on the girl in the seat next to him in class, but he feels disheartened when he borrows her eraser and sees the name of another boy. Kongthap, written on it, it becomes even more chaotic when Kongthap sees the eraser and thinks that Atom likes him. The fans of Gemini and Fourth would definitely anticipate for this series to air because of their chemistry and of course the great source material. Number 2, My Golden Blood. Even though this series shares the same name with another Thai BL which aired in 2021, My Golden Blood is entirely different with its fantasy themed story about vampires. I have been wanting to have a great and quality vampire story in a BL and I'm really hyped for this one. Another thing, it's the first time we will see Joss in a BL. If we don't count 3 we'll be free in 2019, and pairing up with Garwin makes me more even excited for this fantasy BL. My Golden Blood follows the story of a vampire who never knew the meaning of life until Tong comes in front of him. He will do everything to protect and spend every second of his life beside Tong. But what would happen if Tong has the most powerful blood in the world? This will definitely become a hit if it has great storyline and execution. Number 3, Kidnap. Another upcoming series that intrigued me a lot during the event was Kidnap although it wasn't revealed whether it's a BL or not. But even then, the chemistry between Ohm and Leng in the mock trailer has already convinced me that this is something worth watching for once it comes out. Kidnap follows the story of a rich young guy who is kidnapped by Min. Min needs to do everything he can just to provide for his younger brother's medication. But his crime would lead him to a person who could help him with his problems. Will there be a happy ending for the two? If this series turns out to be a BL, then we will be getting a new wonderful on-screen couple in 2024. Number 4, Ossens Love Thailand. Earth Mix are probably the only on-screen couple of GMM TV that have a BL show since 2021, and now they are coming back in a Thai remake of Ossens Love in 2024. I actually haven't seen the Japanese version so I don't have any idea what the series would be all about. As of now, there's no mock trailer that was released in the event probably due to the ongoing process of buying the rights to do a remake. I'm happy that Earth Mix will do another series next year and I'm hoping that the remake would be on par with that of the original in terms of the quality. Number 5, Wandy Good Day. We all love these two main actors from their own respective BL series in the past. In Sarin who played Tofu in The Miracle of Teddy Bear in 2022, and Great Sapple who played Inspector M in Manner of Death in 2020. Now that they are having a BL together, a lot of fans are expressing their anticipation for the said series because of the unique pairing and of course their good chemistry on screen. Wandi Goodday follows the story of Wandi who agrees with Yo Yak to be friends with benefits. But later on, the two officially become boyfriends to level up their relationship, with their dreams on the line as boxing champion and a surgeon. Will their love become a hindrance or not? It's definitely a combination of romance and comedy with a touch of some drama based on its mock trailer and I can't wait for this to happen in 2024.
Number 6, The Trainee. Off Gun's next series Cooking Crush is set to air sometime this year but we are already given another one for the next year to come. This time around, the two will be in an office setting with their roles as a boss and a trainee. The mock trailer looks like we have seen this story from different BL shows before, but with Gun's acting prowess and his chemistry with Off, those factors would definitely have an impact to the overall quality. The trainee follows the story of an intern who doesn't know what he really wants to be in the future. But with the guidance of his boss and his love for him, he is making a path towards his dreams of success. Since it's an off-gun series, that would be an instant must-watch for me. Number 7. We are the series. This was the first BL show that was first announced in the event last night. And I was dumbfounded when they revealed all the on-screen couples we are getting for this drama. Having 4 couples sharing in one series will definitely be a challenge when it comes to their screen time and of course their character developments in the story. But aside from that, the mock trailer greatly showed their chemistry and it's enticing to watch it. We are follows the story of 8 students who face the challenges of their university lives as students while also learning new things in life such as love. Even though it's another university themed BL series, its mock trailer looks so much comforting and light, and I get the feeling it would be fun to watch. Number 8, Only Boo. The first time I watched its mock trailer, I didn't feel anything about it and thought that it was just an okay series. But upon watching it again for the second time, I noticed that the two main actors have potential like what I saw before with Gemini in 4th. Aside from that, I appreciate that we see fresh faces as main roles and that brings my anticipation for their performance on screen. Only Boo follows the story of Moo who is good when it comes to singing and dancing but fails in his academics. As a consequence, his mother transfers him to a different school and there he meets Kang, a food seller in school he adores the most. When Moo is accepted in a boy group, his contract states that dating is prohibited. There lies the conflict whether Moo still wants to pursue his dream or the man he likes the most. As much as I adore them, I'm hoping that they won't rush to produce this series in order for the new actors to polish their crafts. Aside from these 8 titles, we are also having another BL story albeit a side couple in Summer Night. They might get some screen time but I guess the story would be more focus on the love triangle of the main characters. We also get a new GL called Pluto and its trailer gives us an interesting plot with inclusivity on mind. This is just the part 1 of their event for this year but it's still unclear when will be its part 2 for the continuation of their announcement. For now. Their lineup of BL for 2024 looks interesting and I can't wait for their official trailers next year. Which of these do you anticipate the most? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.